expecting the uh, drive here to be such a four-wheel drive adventure but anyway it was and when you're by yourself it's a bit um a bit how you going we're both parched as been in the car for about three hours i reckon eh? and uh, we finally got to the uh old hillviews homestead got bogged twice winched twice the the Luxie's just absolutely covered in shit, eh? Have a look at it. It's all over it. Anyway, there's an old tip site out the back here, which apparently has heaps of um, old bottles and old relics through it, even though it is a tip. Be some old cars over there too, by the looks of it. Over here, we have an old meat house. The old timers would have just hung their meat in here, see if we can get a better look. Pretty cool. Over here's the old homestead. So this is Hillsview Homestead. Nice timber doors, Michelle reckons. It smells really nice. Wow. Tin though, they blue. It's a blue copper. It's a copper. It's pressed tin. Pressed tin. And the roof. In the corners. Is the same. This would have been pretty light in the day. walls and ceilings throughout. It's an old bike. It's an old bike or something. And a lantern. Front wheels to the old boy. View off the back porch. You must have a stove kitchen out the back here. Fireplace. It's been barricaded off. Obviously, it's a bit. There you go. Some old bottles up on the wall over there. Another look into days gone by. This place just recently has obviously been absolutely flooded with water. It was so hard to get here on these tracks. And as I said, a bit freaky by yourselves. But um, look at all the ruts and washouts over there. The whole ground looks like it was covered in water. You can just see where it's been flowing all underneath this thing. Anyway, we'll go down to the dump site and have a look at the dump site. Well, I think there was, just, there was a cool kitchen out the back here a second ago. Let's have a look at that. Yep, the old outdoor kitchen. Steel plate. I think Marty McFly put that on his chest when uh, Biff shot him in Back to the Future 3. It's a rabbit trap. Old pot. Pan. Old bottle.
here's the old tip site for the homestead. The old car panels, bottles everywhere. Nineteen fifty-three. There you go. It's an old dash panel or from some old well, looks like old Ford Andy probably would know. There you go Andy, which one's that mate? Some rims, chrome hubcaps there, a lantern hanging up. There's a chassis off a Obviously the same car must be. It's unreal. There's another bottle. 1957. More old bits and pieces. There's some sort of furnace or something. I don't know. Don't know what the hell that is. Shell Motor Company. like an old gearbox. There's the hood. The old gearbox there. It's more of the same. Mainly just bottles and cans over here. smashed try to see if we can check a year on it maybe this is an older pile here's one 1950 1950 on that one so that's about what we're looking at here 1950s it's absolutely barren wasteland It's hard to imagine actually living here back when they did, especially for this water coming through here. Like, you can kind of probably can't see on the pictures, but it's been just ripping through here recently. Anyway, we'll have a quick tinker around. We have to get back on that track and go back where we came. Should be interesting. Hey, babe. What are we doing here, Duh? Cleaning up the mess of your car so we can pack up in a day's time. It is covered. Inside and out. All these bikes are getting this Raptor coat now. Is, we're just going with the mud coat. It uh, protects your paintwork, no end. Makes the car weigh extra 100 kilo. Throws the wheels out, wheel balance out. Uh, yeah, check out all the mud. Oh, this side's not as bad as the other side. I cleaned it at lunchtime. Jesus.
so it throws your balance out. So I have to get most of that off before we leave, otherwise she's going to be a pretty crap ride on the highway. Anyway, sort it out in the morning. G'day, g'day. Here we are out at Kalgoa Floodplain National Park and we've been camping at Red Bank Hut, which is just behind me here. And uh, it's been a great few days out here. It's been bloody hot. I've got the fly net on because the, uh, the fly's got the better of us today. Absolutely swarming us. Hasn't been too bad the last couple, but today for some reason it's just off its head. But anyway, yeah, it's absolutely beautiful and it um, gives you a bit of insight on how hard life was out here at one point. There's uh, not much water getting around, even though yesterday's adventure would uh, you know, contradict that statement. But um, there was puddles of water in this area when we got here and it's just all evaporated and it's just rock hard clay now. And uh, yeah, it's quite barren and desolate kind of a landscape, but absolutely beautiful. And the sunsets around, you know, magic hour are just absolutely brilliant. And um, yeah, it's been well worth the six, 700 Ks out here. And um, it's our last day, so we'll uh, head back to Brizzy tomorrow. And um, yeah, say goodbye to this place. It's been absolutely wonderful. And if you uh, ever get out here, just come and see it and make sure you got enough fuel. So uh, it's quite a big park and um, you don't want to be short of fuel. But anyway, we'll go over and have a look at this Red Bank Hut. Here we are at Red Bank Hut. It's probably built somewhere at the, uh, around the early 1900s. Good old bush architecture. Old bottle sitting on the front the porch still. Smells a bit. Probably going to be something a bit dead inside, I think. A little spanner hanging up in the front here. Looks like it had power at some point. All right, well, I'll just undo this and have a look. Nowhere near as flash as the other one yesterday, Hillview House. It's obviously a little bit older. Not as flash. It was probably just used as a hut in later in its life. All the ceilings falling down. Oh yeah, and that's why it smells. Ugh. It's like where they used to hang their meat or something out here. Big old oven. Cast iron oven, still still going great. <laughs> we got a selection of old bottles and whatnot on the uh, mantel still. Scotch something or other can't quite read the label I think that says Lindemans okay. Pretty cool. You can see all the drapes have fallen. 
the ceiling. I would have put that in as a ceiling, apparently. This is how the old timers would have lived back in the day. Little one bedroom hut, side door there. Yeah, it's clear that animals or you know birds or bats, it's their uh, it's their home in the uh, weather. You can watch where you step. Floorboards. A couple of them feel like they might go. We have a look outside. All the other homesteads around here that we've visited, or the only other one, it's um, they all seem to throw have like a little dump site out the back. They just threw all their old bottles and tin food. Looks like it was mainly tin food. It's a bit more over there under the tree. Doesn't look like there's much of significance around here. No old cars or wagons or something. Yeah, there's some bottles. And they're pretty cool because you pick these old bottles up. Like this one here in the tree here. 1962. So that gives you a bit of idea how old it is. There's like glasses everywhere. And we're getting around in dongs is a bit. How you going? This is all vile here. Some sort of medicine or something. Pretty cool. Gives you a bit of date on when it was last used. Apparently there were three stations around here as I've already mentioned. And the last one was apparently abandoned in 1996. And uh, they've been operating since the late 1800s. So it's got a lot of history this area. As well as some Aboriginal history too in the area. Uh, none of that's marked on the map, so I wouldn't have any idea how to look to try to find those sorts of things. But um, they're apparently around. If you're lucky enough to know where they are or how to locate them, or know someone who can locate them, I would recommend hitting them up. Like a bit of wagon wheel or something, something off, something off wagon. Looks like an axle, but I'm not sure. Got no idea what it is. Actually, it probably isn't an axle. No idea. Some more yards. All in ruin. There's just relics everywhere you look. Even when you go for walks, follow the old fence lines. You can make out old old bits of shed or where machinery may have been or something. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Red Bank Hut. We're camped about 100 metres that way. On some nice dry ground. And most of this was wet the other day, as I mentioned. And you couldn't uh, couldn't get anywhere. But anyway, it's been beautiful. Great place. Get out here. Have a look around. See ya.
way home, come past the Queensland's oldest pub, had a couple of rumbies. Can't stay long, gotta hit the rope.